good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everybody and thank you for coming out today. You know, our purpose of the press conference today is to bring awareness of the new safety measures that have been installed and completed on 395 from where we stand today north out to Highway 58. In the spring of 2018, there was a succession of traffic accidents that led to major injuries. And that brought, obviously, a collective heightened awareness and concerns of all government officials, including myself, our office, uh, Mick Gleason's office from Kern County, Highway Patrol, uh, Caltrans, Sheriff's Department, Fire Department, and collectively also the other electeds in our region. So as we worked out and stepped forward with a number of communications, we found a very positive response with the Highway Patrol and Caltrans and moving forward and adding additional measures to ensure that we would not suffer additional loss of life and minimize the opportunities for accidents. That was by the creation of bypass lanes, physical delineators, and if you've had the opportunity to travel on 395, you can see there's a marketable difference. Congressman Cook, as I said, Senator Grove, Senator Wilkes, and Assemblyman Jay Ogilnolte, their offices were aware and stepped forward to help and support this effort. They understand the concerns, and as always, our concerns for the constituents and the tourists that are on our highway, and especially the men and women of public safety that serve and protect us. So this point was really to reach out and offer just appreciation. And at this time, I'm going to turn over and ask that District Supervisor, or new District Supervisor Director of 8, Mike Bocek, comes up and speaks. Mike. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm Caltrans District 8 Director Mike Beauchamp. I would like to begin by recognizing the tragic loss of California Highway Patrol Officer Andre Moya, Jr. Our thoughts and prayers go out to our partner agency, the California Highway Patrol, during this difficult time. Safety is Caltrans' number one priority, not only for our workers, but also for everyone who uses the freeways and highways. Caltrans' mission is to provide a safe, integrated, and, e and efficient transportation system for California to improve and enhance California's economy and livability. US 395 is a critical route between Southern California, Nevada, Northern California, Oregon, and Washington. Travelers, commuters, and freight regularly use the route Approximately 7,000 vehicles and 1,300 trucks travel this section of US 395 daily. Toward that end, we want US 395 to be a good experience for all users. Caltrans has initiated projects to construct four-foot median buffers, widen existing shoulders to eight feet, install centerline rumble strips, and install shoulder rumble strips on three segments of US 395 between the city of Adelanto and the junction of State Route 58. The south segment was completed in 2014. The north and middle segments are scheduled to be completed late, later this fall. To further look at US 395 enhancements, a task force was created. The US 395 task force is made up of Caltrans, the California Highway Patrol, and representatives from Supervisor Levengoods and Assemblymember Fong's offices. Based on input from the task force, additional traffic control elements were added as centerline channelizers as one example. We also continue to install sign enhancements along US 395 from Adelanto to the Kern County line to inform motorists when they are in a no passing zone or to pass with care when they are in a passing zone. Thanks to the passage of the Road Repair and Accountability Act, of 2017, Senate Bill 1, Caltrans has been able to accelerate the start of construction on several projects earlier than anticipated. More than 200 Fix It First projects worth $5 billion are being accelerated for early completion. An example of how SB1 is improving US 395 is a project to upgrade the lane striping to six inch wide lane stripe from Interstate 15 to Kern County. The project began this summer and is expected to be completed at, by the end of the year. As we work to improve the transportation system throughout San Bernardino and Riverside counties, we remain diligent to 
towards increasing our efforts to make highways work areas safer for Caltrans employees, highway workers, and the motoring public. Nothing drives home this priority more than our updated Be Work Zone Alert, and you can see the uh, poster here. Um, so please, when you approach a work zone, stay alert, pay close attention, and merge early, and avoid distractions, and put the phone down. Your mindfulness is the key to re reuniting these families every single day. With that, thank you. We can thank Mike, and uh, I'm glad that he came out here after graduating University of Michigan and decided to stick around and make it home. We appreciate your leadership. Uh, next, uh, you know, I said, uh, won't talk about the Wolverines, though. Uh, oh, State, okay, Spartan. I got that completely wrong. I'll make it up, I'll buy lunch. So, uh, but with that, no, next we have our council member from the city of Victorville, uh, Mr. Jim Cox. Jim. Thank you, Robert. Um, this gives us an opportunity on behalf of the city of Victorville <clears throat> to thank everyone that's involved with improving these transportation corridors and roadways. Uh, Victorville sets up a very strategic spot with the federal highways, state highways, transversing the city and a lot of traffic. Being a member of the County Transportation Commission, we want to thank the cooperation of Caltrans, the county, and the supervisor. Um, together as a team, a lot is being done. We're appreciative of all the improvements that are being made, and this makes it much, much safer. And we still I want to thank all of the first responders and public safety that have to respond every day, 24-7, on these very busy roads. When we uh, have these major projects, we also note that um, the city of Victorville, which has a huge number of miles, also has to step up and do our part. And we are doing that. We are adding two new signals onto 395. We, this year, we're connecting La Mesa Road to 395 on the east and west. There'll be three-tenths of a mile of new road connecting those with one lane. There also will be right turn lanes onto 395. They're also adding another, uh, and there will be also additional lanes, right turn lanes uh, to connect Cantina Road and the West Lane, uh, lane connecting Pena Road. Also adding a signal at Seneca. So the public safety aspect comes into play uh, with all the traffic going in and out of the city. We cannot sit idly by and expect other entities and agencies to pay for these improvements. We are so affected, including the citizens of Victorville and the people who pass through, that we have to step up and do our share. We do that in cooperation and coordination with all these other projects that are occurring that will help get the traffic on 395, 15, and the other major routes in a safe manner and an efficient manner, which we all want to see. Uh, all we have to do is come from down below through the pass to understand what, what traffic can do and the cost of holding everything up. When you add the narrow 395 to the traffic safety portion of it, we have a huge obligation, and so we are proud of the individuals on the team. We hope we do our part and we want to thank you for cooperating to get these improvements done. They're needed and they are appreciated by the general public and the citizens of Victorville. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Next, we're gonna have Captain DeLong uh, come and join us. Please, Captain. Thank you, Supervisor Levy. I'm California Highway Patrol Captain Dan DeLong of the Victorville Station. I want to thank you for allowing me to speak today, say a few words with an enforcement aspect, and I'll be brief. I want to echo the words by Supervisor Lovingood and Caltrans District 8 Director Beauchamp and thank them both for their proactive approach to traffic safety. I couldn't ask for a better partnership. I've had the opportunity to work directly with Supervisor Lovingood and his outstanding staff the men and women at the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department and Director Bishop and the men and women from Caltrans on safety, traffic safety solutions on Highway 395 as part of this task force. It's taking command 
of the Victorville area. During those meetings, we explored enforcement solutions, educational opportunities, and current and future traffic engineering projects on Highway 395 for the sole purpose of traffic safety. Shortly after taking command of the Victorville area, I implemented an enforcement plan to reduce injury and fatal collisions within the Victorville area's geographical area responsibility. The enforcement plan's objective is to employ targeted enforcement operations to identify locations. Since early 2018, over 18 enforcement operations have been conducted specifically on Highway 395. A majority of those operations were conducted jointly with other allied agencies such as the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department and other CHP areas such as Mojave, San Bernardino, and Barstow areas. We also utilized additional resources from our inland division such as our air operations, our commercial vehicle enforcement officers, and yes, CHP motorcycles. As a California Highway Patrol commander, I value the partnerships with our elected officials and stakeholders and will remain committed to working toward reducing collisions on our roadways as part of this task force. These partnerships will allow each of us to better serve this community and with respect to traffic safety. And I believe it is the key to the success of the mission of the California Highway Patrol to save lives. For those motorists using Highway 395, please slow down. Leave plenty of time to reach your destination. Always wear your seatbelt. Never pass over double yellow lines. Please use caution when passing in designated passing zones and leave plenty of space to move back in your lane. Do not attempt to pass multiple vehicles in the same movement. And please, very important, use caution when driving through construction zones and watch out for our Caltrans and construction workers. Thank you. Uh, we're next going to have uh, Under Sheriff Dykus. Please come join us. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Sheriff John McMahon, I would like to thank Supervisor Lovingood for including public safety partnership in such an important event. The Sheriff and his department members are excited to be involved with the Highway 395 Safety and Expansion Project. This much needed project will enhance safety and quality of life for high desert residents and travelers who use Highway 395. Improvements such as a new lane added in each direction between Victorville and Adelano, as well as turning lanes at intersections, a four-foot median buffer, rumble strips, and a new traffic signal at Seneca Road will all be welcome improvements to increase safety and efficiency through this busy corridor. The Sheriff's Department will work hand-in-hand -hand with our public safety partners to keep the public and Caltrans employees safe during the road construction phase. We would encourage members of the public who use the Highway 395 to monitor social media sites for updates and potential delays. The Sheriff's Department will be committed to updating our social media sites as progress on this project moves forward. We would like to thank Supervisor Lovingood and all of the public officials who had influence and their commitment to the residents of the high desert by supporting critical projects like this one. Thank you. And our next who's going to join us is uh, Chief Don Trapp. Chief. Thank you. It's a pleasure to uh, host this safety corridor press conference here at County Fire Station 305. Thank you to Supervisor Lovingood. And as we continue our partnership with all the other public agencies in ensuring public safety through this project and all others across the county. We are confident that the new safety measures being put in place will decrease the number of accidents and fatalities that take place on this stretch of Highway 395. This fire station houses a heavy rescue truck and equipment that's equipped with specialized life-saving extrication equipment, such as the Jaws of Life, and res typically responds to incidents all along Highway 395 to the current county line. Due to the amount of semi-truck traffic along this corridor, 
we recently added the capability to use, utilize FireAid Class AV foam. It's a new type of high-grade foam that is more effective, effective at extinguishing fires, especially large liquid petroleum fires. I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to emphasize the importance of yielding the right-of-way to emergency vehicles with their lights on. If you are near an incident, please clear the way for approaching emergency vehicles by safely slowing down, pulling to the right, and stopping. Together, we can all make Highway 395 a safer and more enjoyable pathway by slowing down, using caution when passing, using hands-free devices, and wearing our seatbelts. Thank you again, and safe travels. You know, my closing is pretty direct. Uh, one, I'd like to uh, thank Hesperia and Atlanta that could not join us today, especially Atlanta with the widening. This is going to be an economic shot in their arm for their community. It's going to allow commercial development. But I think the biggest thing we have here is our constituents are going to get home soon. And that's more time with their families and what they're meant to be. The other, I think, biggest priority is public safety, men and women out there saving lives. This will increase that passage. It should slow down the accidents and give that. And Captain Delana, just take a minute. I can't even start to phantom the words to say. Folks, uh, they're our most important assets that are out there. Men and women, Caltrans, you do, you do things right every day. And this is a collaborative effort. I want to thank each and every person that came out here today because it will make a difference. And as we look forward to Measure I and what it's going to bring in resources at our SBCTA Transportation Mountain Study meeting this morning, they made the announcement the study of a bypass for Interstate 15. So that'll be a period of time and waiting. It's another key component to our economy. So thank everyone for coming out today and really for you and your families have a blessed week and be safe. Thank you.